Hello and welcome to Full of Food. If you're asking yourself the big air fryer question of the week, what's the difference between the newly released Ninja Double Stack and the Ninja Double Stack XL, then you're in the right place. In this video, we're going to take a look at both machines and explore pricing, specifications, functions, dimensions, other points, and carry out the all important sausage cooking test. So you can decide which machine is best for you and your cooking needs. I'll put each section into chapters below so you can skip to the section that you need. Okay, so let's jump straight in and look at pricing. Okay, so with these two machines, think of them like a big sister and a little sister. So the Double Stack XL was released a couple of months ago and just this week, beginning of September 24, the Stack Double Stack has been released. So that obviously this XL is bigger than the Stack. In terms of pricing, the new Double Stack comes in on the Ninja website at $229.99. It's currently only available on Ninja. If that changes, I'll put all the information in the description, but it comes in at $229.99 and there's no offers on this one at the moment. In terms of the Double Stack XL, that is coming in on the Ninja website as an RRP of $269.99, but it's on sale for $229.99. So the same price, for each machine on the Ninja website. If you wanted to pop over to Amazon, Amazon have the Double Stack XL at a similar price to Ninja, so 229.97, 2p cheaper. Um, and they also have an Amazon exclusive color, which is a black with copper, which is quite a nice effect for this Double Stack XL. Just to put this into context, if you were comparing these to Ninja's well-loved and trusted Jewel air fryers, this double stack comes in at about £80 more than the Jewel at the moment, and the double stack XL about £50 more than the Jewel at the moment. So comparing that to the normal Jewel and the Max Jewel. So the most obvious difference between these two machines is the colour. This one's black and this one's grey, and you'll notice that the normal stack has a shiny handle and the Stack XL has a matte handle. Okay, so now let's look at specs. Both of these machines have a 2470 watts. That is standard, as far as I can see, across all Ninja air fryers. All of the Ninja air fryers that I have have the same wattage. In terms of capacity, the Ninja Double Stack is a 7.6 litre capacity. The Double Stack is coming in at a 9.5 litre to capacity. So obviously a bigger machine compared to this one. If we actually break that down into the drawer sizes, you've got two drawers of 3.8 litres with the Double Stack and two drawers of 4.75 litres with the Double Stack XL. So you're looking per drawer at about a litre more capacity. But we'll actually have a look a bit later on in this video at the surface area, because that's really the important part is the surface area that you've got available to cook on. Unless you're doing something like a lasagna or a bolognese in these machines, it's mainly the surface area you're going to look at. Okay, so next up, I'm going to talk to you about the functions of these machines. So both machines have this control panel to the right. So we can see it here on the XL and we can see it here on the normal double stack. What we have here is we have a one and a two button which relates to the drawers. So one being the top drawer, two being the bottom. And then we've got six functions. Both machines are identical in terms of the functions that they do. So we have air fry, roast, max crisp, reheat, bake and dehydrate. We can also change the temperature and the time and with the XL you've got this little toggle knob here and with the normal double stack you've actually got an up and down arrow instead. So in terms of the dimensions with the two machines they are quite similar with one main difference being that they have a different depth. So with both machines, we've got a height of 38.5 centimetres, we've got a width of 28 centimetres, and then the depth is what differs. So with the Double Stack XL, we're looking at a depth of 47 centimetres, so that means when it sits on your kitchen side, it's 47 centimetres deep. And with the smaller Double Stack, we've got 42 centimetres. So there's five centimetres difference 
between the two when they're on your kitchen surface. So this one will give you a little bit more room to pull out the drawer and pop it onto a surface than this one because the Stack XL is a little bit deeper. And we can actually see that if we pull out the drawers and have a look. So here's your normal double stack. Here's the double stack XL. And the first thing you notice is it's a lot deeper. So if we get out our trusty tape measure, we're looking with each of them at a depth of 13 centimeters. And we're looking at a width of about 18 centimeters. So both of the drawers for both machines are roughly the same size in those dimensions. The difference, as you can see, is this measurement here. So we've got about 22 on this one and 18 on this one. So this is sort of a square and then that has that little bit of extra space. And what that actually means is that you've got more cooking surface area with this machine to this machine. So if you're thinking about your cooking needs and you're thinking about how many people you're going to be cooking for, this machine would be really good for sort of one, two people, maybe a small family with some young children. And this one would be much better if you have a larger family or just like eating a lot. So if I now just grab out these racks, I'm just going to take out these two plates and we'll just have a little talk about these. So these are crisper plates and they are in the bottom of most air fryers. And what they do is they allow the heat to come up underneath and crisp your item you're cooking. So if you had something like some chicken goujons or chicken nuggets in there, it would make sure they were nice and crisp. So you can see again, the difference between the surface cooking areas there. This is the normal double stack and this is the double stack XL. Okay, so the last thing before we get on to the all important sausage cooking test, which I do with all air fryers that I review, is to say that both of these Machines have drawers that are dishwasher safe. The only thing I'd say if you're going to dishwasher is take the crisper plate out, pop that where your plates would go, um, give this a little rinse out to make sure there's not any excess bits in there and then pop it in your dishwasher. Also worth talking about the fact that you often have some fat that's in the bottom of your um, drawer and I've actually done a video on how to clean your air fryer and get rid of that. So make sure that comes out before you put it in the dishwasher because otherwise it will clog up your dishwasher. So the final part of this video is answering the question, how does it cook? So here I've got some supermarket sausages. I just picked these up from Asda. They're just their normal sausages. And we're going to cook three in the double stack XL and three in the normal double stack and have a look at the cooking and compare the two. So let's get going. So with both machines, I'm going to cook the sausages in the bottom drawer. So I'm going to choose number two. I'm going to air fry. So I'm going to choose the air fry function. And then I'm going to do them at 200 degrees and I'm going to do them for about 12 minutes. And we'll have a little look at how they're doing during that time. So we'll open the drawer every few minutes and have a little look at how they're cooking. So get going and do the same with the other machine. Okay, so we're four minutes in. If we have a look at the cooking, so double stack here, double stack XL. So we've just started cooking on our sausages four minutes in there. So let's pop them in, have another look after another four minutes. So four minutes up. Here we've got our stack XL and here we've got our smaller stack and looking quite similar. One thing about this machine is it does cook at the front a little bit quicker. So at this point you can give them a little shake. I'll just leave them be because actually by the end of cooking, you'll find the temperatures are practically identical. And we'll just double check that with our trusty thermometer at the end. Okay, so finished cooking, 12 minutes each. Let's get them out and have a look. So we've got a slightly smaller machine here, so we've cooked a little bit more. If we just grab these sausages out, one final test is to just check the internal temperature to make sure that they're cooked all the way through. Don't want to be giving anyone any tummy aches. So we've got the double stack sausages on this side. We've got the XL sausages on this side. And we want to make sure that we're over 75 degrees. So we're just going to pop our little thermometer in. Yeah, perfect over 75, yeah, well over. And then these ones that also look a little bit 
less cooked are actually cooked. So we're hitting well over 80 there. So that concludes the review of these two machines. Um, as I said in the beginning, have a look and see what you think, how each of them suits your cooking needs. And I just wanted to say, please like and subscribe for more air fryer review videos and air fryer meal ideas. Thank you for watching.